I noticed a pattern that was unusual. I just find this stuff to be very fascinating. And I don't know exactly what to look at, but when something catches my eye like this uh, during the early afternoon today, and I was feeling it because I'm, I'm in this region here. And usually you'll see wind coming across like this straight and come straight across here sometimes. So it's generally like north east moving uh, or the opposite would be wind coming from the southwest. And this has been going on for a long time <clears throat> until today did something a little bit different. So, then I told myself, well, it could have something to do with earthquake. You know, how everything's connected. And, you know, like I said, I'm not sure exactly what to look for. I'm an amateur scientist. But I think that's the kind of mindset that you need to be able to see things. Let's see if this comes up with my astrologer's channel. And I'll show you, I was looking at the planets also of our solar system. And let's see what Chrome gives us on the Google search. Sorry, it's a little bit slow. <clears throat> well, while it's doing that, let's see what we got on the geological, U.S. geological services here. We have the largest earthquakes being 5.1, I've heard 5.2, 5.3 and that's where it really started like a lot of people were feeling that and there were three shocks uh, even in La Habra there was a 3.6 just before it and there were smaller ones in the surrounding area Let's see if we can notice those, okay around here now I'm not so sure if those are connected to the central one but they are connected in time just because they precede it and they're in the region and what I also wanted you to notice is that the recent ones uh, within an hour after the major one so far are more shallow so they're they're not even a kilometer like this one is just a few hundred feet below the ground and that just happened so you know I couldn't tell you the pattern what it's indicative of but I do see that um, these quakes that are leading up to it are much deeper and then it becomes very shallow and the activity went over to Brea, Brea, which is actually not that far from La Habra. And if you know the area, it's all like um, south of Whittier, and it's um, west of Chino, and it's uh, like Orange County area. So, let's take a look at the blow-up map here for this one. It should be coming in. Yeah, this is a detailed page. And people are really talking about this. I just took a search and I was surprised that I noticed it and did a video but there were about 15 videos that were released before I did mine 
and I'm already getting within the first hour like 10 comments so tonight people are awake it is the weekend the Friday night and uh, hopefully people can get some sleep it's already late for me but I'm on this event and I want to see what's going to happen there's been 23 aftershocks as of 10 p.m. local time 23 um, previously there was a 5.4 2008 quake in Chino Hills hmm. the details here are new to me I, I couldn't figure this out myself but the experts that are studying all this are saying it can be associated with Puente Hills thrust it's a blind thrust fault extending in the region to the north and west towards the city of Los Angeles oh it caused a 5.9 in 1987 in Whittier I think I remember that one it was quite large, 5.9 is just about a 6, so that was definitely being felt. Wait a second, October 1st, 1987. Yeah, we'll look that up in further research. So, Los Angeles is shaken tonight. Let's go back to the Chrome browser and see what they come up with on my astrologer's channel. Yeah, my astrologer's channel comes up on the top of the list. Astrologo Cosmos. I put this out a day ago. and I was trying to use the planetary positions to predict things you can take a look at this video I'll leave the link and I use screencast-o-matic to capture what I was looking at and the website is planets now actually that's not the URL um, just do a Google search on planets now it should come up uh, basically what I was seeing is that Mars is very very close to the earth which happens every like 14 or 15 months and after that about 25 days later we're going to be as close as we can get to Saturn so this is sort of an alignment it's not an exact conjunction with that you would have to have an opposition to the Sun at the same time but I felt that that could cause things, tension in society, wars, definitely. And I also felt that cause earthquake, seismic activity, tectonic plates. I thought it could cause volcanoes as well to become active. So let's go back and look at the current quake activity if there is anything make sure you have a earthquake protection plan because you should always that if you choose to live in this area in Los Angeles tell me what you're thinking tell me what your plans are um, we just heard from our friend over there um, 
and she wrote that it's kind of an exciting thing to be in earthquake zone and she just takes it with a spiritual acceptance and usually I don't hear that kind of a fully developed um, philosophy about California and earthquakes so maybe she'll want to do a video at some point here we just have the update we got um, 1.3 all these in La Brea you can see oh La, ha La Habra where is this one okay this is south of Riverside a place called Lake Elsinore we got more La Habra and then Idle Wild up in the mountains here on the other side of Palm Springs so there's some minor shaking still going on they call these the aftershocks I hope everybody's going to be safe tonight but we do know that something is going on and you know I would pray for all the good people out there in the west coast california that this type of thing doesn't happen when you're off guard or asleep remember the people up the coast in the mudslides of washington state and they're still trying to dig out their dead some will never be found. Be safe, everybody. Thanks for watching.